Hi gardeners, today we're going to talk about building a compost bin. Now, Brad built this with four bins, each roughly four feet by four feet by four feet. That gives us 64 cubic feet of bin. Now, just because you put 64 cubic feet of material in doesn't mean you get 64 cubic feet of compost out. It will settle, and as the microbes and the worms do their work, it will compact down to less than half its ordinary size. Over here in bin four is the result of two bins worth of compost. This is very friable material, and this is basically all the fertilizer you need unless you're in some sort of situation where you're having trouble with um, soil pH or something like that. This is probably almost 40 cubic feet. Now, go to your big box stores that rhyme with Hose and Lone Depot, and you'll pay five to eight dollars a cubic foot. So if you wanna do 40 times five, this is $200 worth of fertilizer we don't have to buy. Well, how do we get there? Carbon, nitrogen, carbon, nitrogen. We're going to layer our garden, our, our compost bin in layers of brown matter, which are predominantly carbon, and green matter, which are high in nitrogen. The carbon is the long burning fuel. The nitrogen will get the microbes started and bring the heat up. So let's see how we're gonna do it. We have a cleaned out bin here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some rather thick leftover branches, very high in carbon, but also they will be our base layer to help hold this together on the bottom. We can just kind of weave that back and forth. Remember, it's, it's a compost bin, folks. This is not a work of art. But as long as we have something like this, we will have moisture and airflow through the first layers. So, I will now put on some of this green material. This is just some of that high grass. And there's, there's seeds in it. Yep. But, remember when the microbes start working their magic, the temperature inside here is going to rise. And once it gets above 131 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't know, 65 Celsius, we start killing the weed seeds and we kill any pathogens such as diseases born inside our material. So if you look at the squash plants, you'll see some diseased um, leaves and we can put those in if we anticipate going above 131 degrees Fahrenheit. So we now have the quick start going. So now we add in the carbon. I say this isn't rocket scientist science and I do have a degree in aerospace engineering so I are a rocket scientist. But what we will do now is this is very dry so we will water this down because microbes need uh, water just as well, okay? And as the center heats up, the outer edge won't be as hot and that's where your roly-polies and your worms will be waiting and they'll be waiting for the temperature to cool down so they can start working their way in and helping out with the consumption process. They'll also leave behind their castings, you know, their poop, and boy is that good stuff to help grow your own garden. Get out there and even if you have to work in a small pile that doesn't get up to high temperatures, it'll act just like the floor of a forest. It'll take longer, maybe a year or more, but it will decompose and you'll get free fertilizer so you can grow your own food. Thanks everybody. Don't forget, like and share.